What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to retouch skin in Lightroom Classic. I'll be showing you how I took this image from here to here. Retouching skin in your portraits is one of them things that can help take the image to the next level. It helps minimize distractions and overall creates for a cleaner image. This is going to be a bit of a quick fire video today, so let's jump into Lightroom and get started. Retouching is one of those things that can help take your portraits to that next level. So this is the image after I've put my edit on it. So to start off with, we're just going to do a little bit of a clean up with the spot healing brush. For this example, I'm going to use the AI generated mask. So I'm going to select people and then wait for Lightroom to do its thing. And once it's done detecting a subject, it'll list out the people that it's detected in the image. And in this instance, there's only one in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck entire person and we're going to check facial skin, body skin, and then that's about it. And what we're going to do is once we've done that, we're going to click on create mask. Once we've created the mask, you can either do this manually or Lightroom has some really good presets built in for this um, overall. So if we come up to the top here, you can see where it's got preset. So what we're going to do is if you click on there, it's got soften skin and soften skin light. Soften skin light is the usual one that I'll use when I'm working on Lightroom Classic um, because I feel like soften skin is a little bit heavy. So if we go with soften skin light, and what that'll do is it'll reduce the clarity and the texture in the skin or where we've got the masking just to um, soften it off ever so slightly. Um, so we don't lose all that lovely detail in there, but it just creates an overall softer appearance to the skin. And as you can see, if I toggle that mask on and off, there we've got on and there we've got off. On and off. You can definitely see how much difference this can make to the portraits themselves. Then what you can do is you can play around with the texture and the clarity settings to fine tune it for your image. I think you'll agree it definitely adds something to the portrait, but you've still got that detail in there because we've not cranked those sliders. Um, and you can see if I come to soften skin, the full soften skin, what that does is it blows clarity to minus 100. And to me personally, I feel like it's too harsh on the skin. Um, I really, in personally in my portraits, I like having a little bit of detail still in there. I know if I wanted to go to the extremes, I could take it into Photoshop and use some frequency separation. But sometimes, especially when I'm editing on mobile or whatnot, personally like to try and keep it inside Lightroom where possible. So let me show you a couple of images where I've applied this technique to, to show you the difference that it can make. So there we have it. I know it was only a quick one today, but I want to try and get some of these quick fire, quick tip videos out just to try and help teach beginner photographers how to use Lightroom and some of the more advanced techniques, but trying to show them in a quicker, simpler, easier fashion. If you like this video and you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like, if you've got any topics that you'd like me to cover, let me know. And we'll try and keep some of these quick fire tip videos bot between some of the pov content and the photo walk content and with all that said and done i'll catch you in the next one